Welcome to another episode of Matt's Off-Road Recovery. A while back, I had Jake and Greg fly down to LA, pick up a school bus, and bring it back. Why? Because we want to build it into something cool for you. So Greg and I are here, we're catching a flight. We're heading out from Salt Lake right now to Burbank, California. We'll talk to you soon. I thought California was supposed to be sunny. We found the bus finally. Nothing special, but it's a bus. It's pretty mint, there's no rust. The 2012 is decent. So this is gonna be a fun build. All aboard! <laughs> Wait, isn't this a short bus? This bus has a lot of things we need. It's got a lot of seats, a lot of windows. It's already LS powered, Allison transmission, but it's only two wheel drive. We want to make it four wheel drive and make it capable to do some off-roading. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to road test this, then we're going to off-road test it, then we're going to modify it and off-road test it again. And make sure it's safe for on-road driving. Whoa! Oh. Don't break Why did it. that happen? I don't know, that felt like a slip, transmission slip. Oh my god. Oh okay, I'm getting back in a seat. I don't know if it's legal to like drive around one with all the school bus markings. I should have looked says, into like, it. Student Transport America or something. Okay. Oh so look, I have one of those flags I can stick out there that says stop. Don't do it, it never shuts. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yes. Oh, oh boy. No. Oh no. Oh Send it. Woo! I thought we were doing on road. I just saw this. <laughs> How did that look? That looks insane. Your kids will never be late to school again. Oh. I want to find something that will push its limits. Oh, you, you, you already <laughs> have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this thing has potential. It's got power. Uh, I smoke the transmission. Why? <laughs> you have to recover your own school bus. <laughs> You're in manual. I know. Did I drive back? I have reverse. <laughs> so we get back up all the way home? Oh my goodness. And our tow truck driver is with us. <laughs> Are we gonna have to recover this thing already? Uh, you don't think that that rally had anything to do with no, it? No, not at all. <laughs> I think now would be a good time to pull the stop sign out. So keep <laughs> I got no forward gears. Well, We're gonna try to get this home with only reverse. I got nothing. So now we're in a soapbox. All right, so the transmission was slipping when we first oh. took it out, and then we were a little bit abusive to it. Nothing it shouldn't be able to handle if it was healthy, but in its weakened condition, we wiped it out. Never fear, pop this puppy out, get it to St. George Transmission, get it all fixed up, and back to testing. Hold on a second, let me explain why we're doing this. We have the off-road games coming up March 14th, 15th, and 16th. So last year we had to move a lot of people a lot of places, and we had an enormous amount of help from Mad Moose Rentals and Red Rock Convitors, plus other great businesses that stepped up to help. This year, we wanna do our part, so we're making this bus to haul you around the games. That's right, this bus is for you. This bus is to move you around the off-road games. Also, we're gonna be doing tours to the top of the world and beyond. Don't miss out on this chance to come meet us and 28 of your favorite YouTubers. Check out the bus, ride on the bus, look at our rigs, talk to other fans. It's gonna be awesome. Head over to offroadgames.com, pick up your tickets, reserve your rooms too. You gotta reserve your rooms, they're gonna fill up fast. We gotta get this bus fixed so we can get back out and test it. So now we gotta get it over to the transmission shop. I'm gonna try and drive this thing over. It's Sounds good. Manual shift one, let's see what it does. Oh, it's moving. Okay, this is promising. Okay, I'm in manual. Let's see if it'll shift. We have second gear. 
third gear. I, I think we're gonna be fine. Okay, it's running good. I think it'll make it. We're gonna go for it. This transmission is definitely doing some funny stuff. It'll like surge and it'll flare up when I have to start, but it's still moving, so I guess we're good. Sorry for you guys, it hasn't been very eventful, but <laughs> we're getting there in one piece. We're grateful. <laughs> yeah, uneventful is what we wanted. All right, we did it. Only hit one curb. I think. Are we in the right parking lot? Oh yeah, this is it. St. George Transmission. I've never actually been here. So we got a call from the transmission shop. It's been a couple of weeks since we took the bus over there and they are all finished up with it. So I'm gonna go pick it up. I got a couple of guys with me because it's no fun to drive around in an empty bus. And we're gonna go straight to Sand Hollow because Matt wants to test this thing right now. There's no way this is going up. Oh, it's going up. Oh, it's oh. going So the question is, at what point is the wrecker gonna have to help this thing up as the mountain. soon as it hits the sink. So think it's just gonna I don't. Sink? I think it's just gonna sink. I, I <laughs> was thinking, you know, where it starts doing the windy stuff. Yeah, the when we get into that, berms. I think it's gonna Wait, be up really fast. Going up where? We haven't told them yet. I don't know. This thing is going right now up Sand Hollow to the top of the world. So that is a steep, rocky, sandy climb, and we're making bets on how far it's gonna go before the wrecker has to drag it the rest of the way. And I'm with Tom. We're gonna hit the sand, start going through those washes, <laughs> and it's, it's gonna done. stop there. Matt thinks it'll get uh, on quite a bit further than that. If we did this a couple days ago when the sand was still wet, that would be different. All aboard! Figuring this out. I think we're good to go. Okay, let's go. Can't oh. stand behind the white line. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me get behind that real quick. Let we, me sit down for you. It's not actually a line. You're good, man. <laughs> All right, let's see how this oh. hot rod does. It moves. Trail Mater's got nothing on this. We got the dualies too. <laughs> so it turns out Tom is the best bus driver I've ever had. He kind of lets us do whatever we want. Doesn't even tell the duty on us. Maybe I could do this for a living. This bus is driving way better than it was when we took it into the shop. So that's good. I still don't know how it'll do off road. We'll find out in a minute. So we're about to take our exit. Sand Hollow is right here. You think anybody's ever taken a school bus up here? I don't think anybody's taken a school bus up here. I think we're gonna be the first. Be some uncharted waters. <laughs> all right, and now for the moment you've all been waiting for, maybe not, but it's a moment I've been waiting for. We're gonna see if a school bus is good at off-roading. We're gonna try to take it to the top of the world. Now there's no way of knowing if it's gonna do good or not until you test it. Today, we're testing it. And maybe breaking it. No, we're not gonna break it. We might there's, get it stuck. Can no we make it? Can we no. make that? Okay, <laughs> I'm 100% confident that this bus will have no trouble getting to the top of the world. I have no confidence that that bus is gonna go more than a quarter mile up this trail and will be totally stuck. So I'm gonna be following behind in the wrecker for when that happens. And I'm gonna allow him to do that just to prove him wrong. <laughs> Good morning, kids. Good morning. All aboard. How far do you think we'll make it before we get stuck? We're gonna make it all the way. Oh, I have my doubts. All right, let's go. It looks pretty good. What do you guys think? It's actually riding really it's, nice. It's riding really smooth considering everything. It's kind of ridiculous that it's doing this here. Are you saying you doubted it? I was not expecting it. I'm now I'm starting to think it might make it up. Like yeah. I was pretending was I was pretending to think it was gonna make it all the way up. But now I think it might. Hey, do you, we're a little top heavy. Do you think we can roll over? Oh no, we're not gonna we're not even close at this point. Well, right now we're not, but when we go through some of the hills. Oh boy, now he's getting excited. That thing gets up. Oh. I cannot see anything in these people. Oh, just stand up, up like that. Uh oh, oh high centered. <laughs> I hope we really are. We're roasting tires. <laughs> We're stuck already? We're 
back here laughing like crazy. This bus is bouncing everywhere. He's already hit the reverse. Oh, he's he stuck. This whole wheel's in the air. Well, it looks like Tom was right. Oh, this is, I'm not counting this. Oh, you were on that diff. Is that the problem? Yes. How far would you have said we made it? We did not make it a quarter mile. <laughs> Maybe a 16th? I get three strikes before I'm wrong. I just made that rule up. He said he gets three strikes before he's wrong. All right, we will try to go again. We're gonna give this a try. Second chance. Rocks. Yes. Ah, okay, I gotta pick my way better now. Now that I know that this has got low gr ground clearance. Hang on. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is the right vehicle for me. Is it just cause you can't see? You can't see and it just feels really tippy. Oh, it's not tippy. It feels These are designed tippy. for the safety of kids, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to the sand dunes, so. This thing's doing better in the sand than it does in the rocks. So we're taking the sand route. Good call. does this look going through the dunes? Here, I have I some. Look, look at this. this. We look at this. Here, we gotta pick up some trash while we're here. Holy. Look, Dad. Don't you're be dragging, a slob. You're dragging Please. something over here. Holy. Am I? That, that was crazy. That was such a you ripped off. 
Was ripped it ripped off the tool to booth side. Was it more fun to be in it? Definitely. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. We need to preserve the moment and picture. Hey, can we go farther with this? Let's see what it can do. I'm thinking we should go out the back way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing the maze. What were we gonna say? Okay. So I want to point out that both of us were right. You didn't make it a quarter mile, but dude, you had to win. Cause that was, you you made it the rest of the way after that little hang up. Well, I learned something. I'm like, this doesn't do rocks, but it seems to do sand okay. So we chose the uh, sand route. I, My original plan was to go straight up water tank. But when I got hung up on nothing, I'm like, okay, it's sand. It's got yeah. plenty of power. It rides really smooth, right up to the limit. When it hits the bump stops and the frame hits the ground, it's quite jarring as to be expected, but the the ride from there to there is amazing. So a little suspension work and some 42s, and this thing is gonna mob. Yes. It already mobs. It already mobs. <laughs> Did we even tell it. them? What we're doing is we're testing this because we're gonna be modifying this with 42 inch tires, some bigger axles, four wheel drive. It's gonna be awesome. And what's gonna happen is you guys will have an opportunity to ride in this bus. We'll take you on a tour to the top of the world and somewhere else. Maybe. We're gonna find out. You know what? We're gonna push through. We're we done accepting mediocre performance. We're not just gonna go down and say we won. We're going across the dunes and we're gonna go out a different way than we came in. Okay, let's find another way home. <laughs> <laughs> we might have some repair. To it does not do rocks at all. Look at these dirt bikers. They're all jealous. <laughs> when you guys are slopping school, we're gonna scoop you up. <laughs> Is there rocks ahead? <laughs> if there is, we'll be dead. No more riding, and I mean it. Anybody want a peanut? It does not like rocks. We got to get out of these rocks. How's the articulation? Terrible. That's why it doesn't like rocks. And well, ground clearance mostly. Yeah, the ride's pretty soft. Yeah. I think this thing is lighter than it appears. Than it appears, yeah. Oh, oh that hurt. That was a good one. Oh, that one hurt. How fast are we going? We're doing 35 miles and 30 miles an hour. That's pretty good. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I lost my camera. I'll get it. Here's the amazing thing, Tom. I'm not just picking my way through this trail, through the dunes. I'm picking alternate, more difficult lines. Are you? The, you're, are, you're trying to push it to the limit? Yeah, huh? I'm not putting it in the easiest spots. And it's doing it. It's, this is going to actually I mean, be a crazy vehicle. With, when you get the big tires on it with some flotation. Yeah. I think it could regularly take people to the top of the world. I might need puke bags and all those seat bags. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we hit some soft sand that let me know that this is not a sand rail. <laughs> we need a tack. I got one. Well, kind of. I got a digital tack. Yeah. Oh, I think we should go back. Oh, it only appears when you're in manual shift mode. Rocks is the enemy. Now we'll get to see where all the scratches are so we'll know what we need to yeah. take off. This will, this will help tell us where to do some chopping. I like your little eyeballs poking over the seats back there. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, okay. Colin's <laughs> jumping. Okay. I gotta go jump that. The MSB is moving into position to do a little jump. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I think school bus time for you to fly. Play some jumping jibs for us. Oh, oh, wait, that was a terrible idea. We're stuck. Uh, I think we might actually be stuck. Yeah, we, we saw that. that. <laughs> we'll find a spot. We've got to get out anyway. Did I hear that you plan on jumping it? Yeah, we're going to jump it right here. Oh. Colin went over that and I'm jealous. This turned into a recovery video. What kind of idiot drives a school bus out here? Look at those wheels. So where are you guys planning on going over at? Common. Yes. Go scout to see if that's a better jump. Or where? It I can wear it. Out. Hey. I went over and I'll smooth it out a bit more. Well, just go go make me some tracks where you want me to jump. Okay, stop. Okay, 
Okay, Jamie, back up. Okay, stop. Jamie, let it out. All right, let's try right, this let's one more time. Thank you. Matt? Watch this. <laughs> oh crap. Oh. <laughs> it made it. How did we do? Did I catch this much air? You you, you got at least three feet. Awesome. <laughs> did he? Got like three no. feet of air that time. You got like three feet of air that time. Well. That was very uneventful, but it was a cool sand splash. The anti-lock brakes are screwing us so bad. I pedaled to the floor there, by the way. We gotta get that nanny out of here. I should have gone his way. Yeah. I like that big cross member on the front because it makes it protects the oil pan. <laughs> Digs a trench of sand out. Yeah. Oh, I bet you there's going to be some like, I saw more rescuing a school bus out of the <laughs> oh, sand. Yeah. Oh, that was a bad one. That should have broken glass. glass. It's still going strong. Okay, well, I predicted that that step was going to be a problem and it's proven to be. Yeah, that last step's a doozy. Whoa. 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 I think I got like a foot of air right now. Yeah, I saw you pop up. I came back and you were flying. I do not have power steering anymore. None? Stop. I don't have power brakes. I wonder. I lost a belt. I bet you I ate some sand and lost the belt. I'm climbing in temperature Great. fast. I'm sure we ingested a bunch of sand and we lost our belt. That's what I think happened because it is not on there. It probably just came off. We can probably put it back on. You see it? Yeah. We're using the Matt's tools to put our bus back together. You can get your own set at mattstools.com. Okay. Here's the belt. Look. Look, Tom. We got the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, here's the belt. Yeah, I'm getting more. I'm getting more. I'm getting more. I'm going over. I am on. Okay. That was fun. Success. So what happened is we were going through those dips and we were scooping the sand with the front pulley on that thing. We're going to need to do something yeah, about that. It shredded the belt that runs the AC and that probably got tangled in the other belt and ripped it off. Yeah. All right. I got stuck right off the bat. I got stuck twice trying to set up for an epic jump that was awesome and then we had belt trouble here at the end from scooping sand but I would like to say that this trip went so much more smoother than I had imagined than it could have so the whole purpose of this was to see if this vehicle was at all a possibility for an off-road means of conveyance for multiple people and the answer is yes yes, yes. yes. <laughs> huge potential can't wait to see what it becomes. Thanks for watching.